one of the hottest rides I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Welcome to Chasing Adam episode one. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Adam Jacobs and I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. And if you didn't know what I'm getting up to, which you probably don't, I'm cycling around the primitive Africa in 2024. You should stay along for the journey. You should probably get a full bike. Is, is this the bike you're taking? Yeah, Africa? so this is all I've got thus far. And it's a bit of a problem, it's missing frame <laughs> wheels in the seat. So it's looking like I'm just gonna walk around Africa for two years. I mean, unless I can secure a bike, that would be amazing. Where would you, where would you possibly secure a bike for? I'd, I'd like to ride a Rook Scout. Yeah. I think it'd be pretty cool to ride a Rook Scout. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna survive, dude. I don't know how I'm gonna get money for this. <laughs> but it's fine. I'll make a plan. I'm gonna eat a roadkill sometime. Okay. I'm gonna have to. Maybe I need to take like, a, should I make a bow and arrow before I leave? So I can hunt. I'm sleeping in the bush. I'm gonna be sleeping in a tent with my bike next to me because it's gonna be very lonely. So I'm gonna cuddle my tires, and my rims. You don't really have that at the moment. It's a bit of a problem. Are you gonna put it on the YouTube channel? What's the point of it? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what the point of starting a YouTube channel is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think it's a brilliant way to inspire people to you know, sort of unpack why I'm doing this, with my personal reasons. It's a great way to just get the conversation rolling. To also just, it's, yeah, literally just inspire people to get out there and get moving. It means freedom, exhilaration, and perseverance, because it's not that easy. And obviously it's like special to me because of I used to cycle with my dad when I was little. So it's special in that sense. But nonetheless, I think it's, I just love seeing the world and I think it's a great vessel to move through cities and through landscapes and see every little detail. I mean, it's much slower than a car. Going back to why I'm doing this is I want to tell a story about the people I meet along the way. And I'm not trying to tell a story of this great endurance athlete from Cape Town. I think there's a whole different perspective to doing something like this that hasn't necessarily been documented in the way that I'd like it to be documented. Yeah, basically I'd just like to tell a story about all the people along the way, connect stories as I go along my journey. And it will be a relationship between the evolution of my psyche as I venture further into the African continent and how I connect to people and what, what being an African means to them. And what being able to dream means to them. Africa is my backyard, it's my playground. You know, there's so much to see, obviously, like, not everything is green pastures and blue skies in Africa. But I think African people in general are just some of the most loving people out there. And we've got a long history. Yeah, you guys should come and join me on my cycle. Yeah, stay along for the journey. Shaka mahala, baby!